The CCTV video was taken after hours at a business in Ogden, Utah. All is quiet until a full speed plate dives out of a cabinet and shatters all over the break room floor. A security guard on patrol walks over and simply stares at the broken plate for over 10 full seconds before grabbing another to verify what just happened. Neither one can think of a proper explanation. They check the shelf and it looks fine. Let me know if you have any explanation for this video besides the paranormal. Unless the whole video is fake and someone off camera pulled a string, then I have no idea how that plate could have fallen. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number this anxiety producing deep web video is a collection of strange clips accompanied by multiple layers of creepy audio. After a while, it becomes increasingly demonic and obsessed with black magic imagery as the jarring audio intensifies. The video also contains multiple languages. I think this part, for example, is both Spanish and Russian. Translate this clip if you can and tell me what's going on here. This could just be an art project, but then again, maybe there's something more devious at work here. It's almost as if this video was made in as many different languages as possible to corrupt the greatest number of minds at once. Whatever they are saying, however, I'm not exactly sure. Driskill Hotel is one of the most legendarily haunted hotels in all of Texas. This is where you'll find a painting of a senator's four-year-old daughter named Samantha who supposedly fell down a flight of steps at the hotel and met her end. Her soul is said to reside in the painting now and she will change facial expressions if you look at her for long enough. Just look at what happens when this YouTuber named Emily takes a glance at the painting. Mom, oh, her face does change. Has it changed? Yes, it just changed when I started looking at it. Jacob, did it change? After freaking out for a bit, Emily bravely walks back up to the picture and takes another look. Try to examine the picture when the camera zooms in on it and tell me if you see Samantha's eyes move. I personally do not see it, but maybe I'm missing something. Her eyes are moving. Oh my god. Her eyes just moved up. I'm not lying. If you want to find out what else this painting can supposedly do, then be sure to check out my other video called Seven Haunted Paintings. A YouTuber named Run Gun Griff is a drone enthusiast who explores a lot of exotic locations on his channel. Most of his videos are taken on tropical islands, but this one was shot at a hard to find rural spot that he simply describes as being in the middle of nowhere. As this drone flies high, you can see that Run Gun Griff and his friend are standing in the middle of a huge field of crops that's covered in a series of strange markings. The symbols themselves are perfectly symmetrical and extremely precise in their geometry. Their designs look strikingly identical and appear to have no noticeable differences, a sign that it was not made by humans. I suppose that it would be possible to do this with farm equipment, but farmers have little reason to vandalize their own field, and since there's absolutely no flaws in the design, I think that there is a strong possibility that this was made by something extraterrestrial. Let me know if you think that these crop circles are man-made or extraterrestrial in nature, and if you recognize any of these symbols from any literature, movie, or video games, then I'd definitely like to know where they are from. Do you choreograph TikTok dances? If so, you'd better skip this one.
published to YouTube by Unknown Barbados in April of 2020. This video will have you checking over your shoulder the next time you gear up to press record. The video shows a woman dancing outside a brick building with a darkened hallway behind her. As she dances like nobody's watching, unbeknownst to her, someone is. Look over her shoulder as she does her moves. This woman is not alone. Someone with long dark hair and a pale face that's unusually blurred peers from behind her for a split second before vanishing back into the shadows. A nightmare specter spectator if I ever saw one. What would you do if you saw this in one of your TikTok posts? Probably would be the end of your TikToking career. A light at the far end of a room is swinging by itself when all of the other lights are as still as can be. Now before you tell me that it's under a vent, let me show you the same room from a different angle. Look all the way to the ceiling where the fluorescent light is grounded. No vents anywhere. So what's the deal here? Am I missing something major? Or is this light swinging on its own momentum when there's nothing to make it move? In this scary video, Exploring with Josh explores the historic RRS Discovery, one of the most haunted ships in Britain. The team invites the spirits to speak, and they do in their own way. You can talk to us here now. Oh, that is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. Just saw a shadow, bro. Bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most. Put, no, put the light on it. Well, that is the most. There's something room. inside there. I'm telling you now. Oh my. What? Yeah, I saw a shadow playing as there. I believe you. They continue to communicate with this spirit. See that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my oh. god! You oh my god! That's f oh crazy. my god! You can't f that up. When they go and collect a recording device from that room, they hear the spirit's response to some of their questions. It is yes, it, it, it is, is the crew. Hang on. It is the crew. You can't your ass. As the presence intensifies, they hear footsteps. And you got it? And now, yeah. And that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room with me. Right, we're coming back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're sort of stuck together? Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run that went through there. Was that the captain again? With all of this paranormal evidence, I have to believe that the RRS Discovery still carries an immortal crew, but they are probably as cold as Antarctica. What do you do when you find a mysterious mutant creature? Cook it up and eat it, of course. Well, at least that's the decision made by these individuals. Watch if you dare. Oh, yeah, another one. So, okay, saya dapat ini raja jin. Yeah, alhamdulillah, saya sudah taklukkan. They pull this strange looking guy out of a cave. It looks like a root vegetable with eyes. Then they cook it. Now it's time to eat. Some in the comments say it looks like a mandrake root, and it kind of does. But those eyes, though, I don't think I could eat anything that was looking at me that way. This footage is terrifying to any cyclist on the road. Published in April of 2022, Cycling Mikey writes, the footage was given to me by a subscriber who asked me to make the video available. In case anyone knows this man and is willing to give his details, 
He had videoed the driver using his mobile phone, and the driver took exception to that. Captured at around 10.30 p.m. in July of 2021, the footage shows a cyclist riding as fast as he can from the car in question. He is calling out to any passers-by to call the police. Help me! Call the police! Call the police! Help me! Help me! The car is clearly chasing him. It even drives up on the sidewalk at one point as the cyclist tries to escape. The cyclist luckily eventually loses the driver, pulls into a driveway and drops his bike to the ground. Commenters call this outrageous and criminal behavior. While at least one commenter was able to capture the license plate number, was it enough to find the culprit or does he have dodgy plates? Sadly, I was never able to find out. A YouTuber named The Maniac sets out with his cousin to explore the back roads of Maine. Within five minutes, a vehicle pulls up and somebody gets out while pointing at the ground. doesn't identify himself and he certainly isn't a police officer, so I think the maniac was in the right to try and get away. I will admit that they were going pretty fast earlier, so maybe that's why this person was so upset. Anyway, approximately two minutes later, they see him again but he is already turning with a car behind him and unable to swing back around. This time, the maniac speeds by him for a final look and sure enough, the man is wearing the same grey shirt and watch as before. The maniac speeds off again before the man has a chance to get out of his car and try and make another attempt to stop him. This entry is a poltergeist three-parter. The first clip was published by Adam in November of 2021. It shows a cabinet with a mind of its own. One of the drawers opens repeatedly, slamming closed each time. Next, an object falls from above, knocking a picture frame and another object to the floor. But these poltergeists are just getting started. In the second clip, published in October of 2021 by Weird in the Bizarro News, a soda can on the counter moves ever so slightly. It later slides across the counter and twirls all the way down. Then it begins to jump up and down. Another creepy clip shows a computer lab with a couple of office chairs acting on their own. They wheel around the lab, twirling and then really launching across the floor. If these clips weren't caught on camera, would you believe they happened? This video evidence evidence seems to prove that no matter how much we think we know, we do not know everything. These tourists left with a souvenir they didn't want. Published by Mystic House slash Horror Stories, this scary video was reportedly captured at a popular tourist attraction in Indonesia. Amongst the brambles on a jungle path, a creepy creature is spotted peering out from behind a stone. The humanoid-looking creature's head is adorned with strange ram-like horns. Its skin is a dull gray, its eyes heavily shadowed. Is this just a local having fun with the tourists? Or is this evidence of an unknown species lurking in the wilderness? You may remember me talking about D-Menace in a previous video, but I wanted to give this video a further analysis. To describe D-Menace in short terms, the best would probably be Adrenaline Junkie. First appearing on YouTube in 2018, he has posted a variety of videos from conducting one breath dives to venturing deep into tight caves. His videos are not for the faint of heart and can distress people with the feats he conducts. He has also posted several urban exploration videos. In June 2020, D ventured into an abandoned malt factory complex with several buildings to explore. All alone, he traveled through the dark and derelict halls. For the first half of the video, nothing particularly strange happens. 
Dee ventures through the various passages and even into the basement, finding strange and even beautiful graffiti on the walls. As he approaches the stairs to the basement, he feels apprehension as, in his words, the walls and ceiling begin to resemble the altered state of Silent Hill when it transitions to other world. I think I reached a really dangerous and scary part here because it's starting to feel and look exactly, but exactly like in Silent Hill. After some time, he decides to continue down the depths. Here, he finds a red bed or a chair, something that gives him the creeps. Written on it in German is, raise your legs and chill. He continues to explore the basement, but is in a constant state of discomfort from the darkness and his mind playing tricks on him. Therefore, he decides to head back upstairs. He then states part of what creeps him out about this place is the lack of wildlife residing in the building. Unlike other places he's explored, he hasn't seen a single bird or rodent since arriving. As he makes his way into the second part of the complex, he begins to feel more anxious, hearing noises around him. He admits he is unaware if it is because he is simply spooked or if there is another person inside with him. Not long after making this statement, Dee discovers he is, in fact, not alone in the complex. As he is showing the view out the window, a man suddenly and casually walks out from the trees. Completely oblivious, Dee sees and is recording him. The man walks calmly to the same building Dee is in, but Dee is clearly nervous and says he hopes the man does not have ill intent. He then hears the man speaking, but it is unknown to whom. After, Dee becomes quiet, listening and acting increasingly anxious. Soon he enters a similar room to where he first saw the man walking up and is startled to see a pair of legs on the other side of a hole in the wall. He quickly quiets down and kneels, but realizes the man must have heard him as the legs retreat in the opposite direction. Realizing the risk of the situation, he decides to try and exit the building. However, as he approaches a corner, the man emerges and pushes D to the ground. After some exchanged words, the two men calm down and discover it was a simple misunderstanding. The other individual, named Jonathan, is just another urban explorer who is also unsure of Dee's intentions. Luckily this time, for both men, neither were there for anything bad and were just wanting to check the place out. Dee's video is a wake-up call for anyone intending to do their own exploration or even ghost hunts. Abandoned buildings pose all sorts of hazards, mostly from the decaying condition of the structures posing physical hazards. What is often overlooked is the possibility possibilities of others in the building who could potentially be living there or committing unsavory deeds away from prying eyes. Both Dee and Jonathan were justified in their suspicion of each other and on this occasion were able to laugh it off and even continue to explore the building together. It is likely this made the adventure safe as the two would now be able to look out for one another in case an accident occurred. It goes as a reminder to how the paranormal is not the only thing to be afraid of on these tours. Dee was definitely thanking his lucky stars he stumbled across Jonathan as both explorers decided to head into the basement as Dee felt it was better to have company. Down there, they find spray cans, a piece of a bicycle body, and a package. However, down a deep corridor, D finds a bone. While it could be misinterpreted for human, Jonathan points out it doesn't appear to be. On analysis, it more so resembles one someone would give their dog to chew on. Regardless, D decides to leave the bone there. Certainly an adrenaline-inducing adventure this time, and thankfully D made a new friend to explore with. Still goes to show how careful one must be about the place they explore, as well as who might be in it. While exploring a spooky abandoned cellar, these ghost hunters face something more fearsome than ghosts. Published by Scary Labs in August of 2021, this scary video shows the crew investigating several dark bricked rooms. The cameraman scans one room that appears to be empty, then he turns to his colleague, who is directing her camera toward another room asking the spirits to come forward. When the spirits refuse to answer, the cameraman turns back toward the previously empty room, only it's not empty anymore. Ah! 
Black cloak, black hair, pale skin. What was this thing? I'm guessing Professor Snape, but the crew didn't stick around long enough to find out. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. Will some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera? One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? While exploring an abandoned paper mill, the crew from YouTube channel Blow 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 6 captured two mysterious events simultaneously an EVP and an apparition. To me, the apparition is clear as day. You see it emerge from the right to the center of the screen, as if it's drifting down the tunnel. But the EVP is not as clear. It sounds like a bird cawing. That's not the only mysterious thing about this clip. I also noticed a strange flicker in the light at the beginning of the video. Watch the backlight closely. Was that a camera glitch? Or is some entity fiddling with the light switch? I think this phantom is up to something. A YouTuber named Flair is left shaken after a fishing trip goes wrong, and you'll never guess how. It's a clear day when they hit the lake, but after a while, dark clouds soon roll in. Flair and his friend are too busy catching fish to notice a sudden shift. That's when nature tells him it's time to go back indoors. His line pops with static. Lightning has struck the lake somewhere and sent a jolt through them both. One of them gets into the water to tie the boat off. A risky move in my opinion. He's out of the water again before lightning strikes twice. I'm glad they both appear to be unharmed. But talk about a close call. A YouTuber named Combo Hugs notices a burly man acting very out of place in his apartment complex. For starters, he is peeking from around a corner and behind a bush with his phone. Look at him. He's been he's been sitting there taking pictures with his phone and watching people at the pool since like 10 minutes ago when I was walking my dog. According to Combo Hugs, the man would act like he was busy on his phone whenever someone walked by, only to resume his photographic activities once they'd passed a safe distance. I will say that I did notice some small children in this video, which is why I'm glad Combo Hugs called the police and alerted the apartment manager shortly after recording this as evidence. Something still haunts this tunnel, and Franco from the YouTube channel Franco TV is delving deep into the belly of the beast. He sees signs that he's not the first one here. It won't be like this for too long. There's even a handprint up there. But it won't be like this for too long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get quiet. In the tunnel, he hears something off putting. He just heard something there, which caught me off guard. He asks the spirits a question, and they answer via the K2 meter. Si tu estás aquí conmigo, tu puedes hacerlo otra vez? It's going. See? When Franco turns off the lights, the spirits turn them on again. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. So it's gonna be really hard to see anything. Okay? Yo voy a apagar todas las luces. As Franco leaves the tunnel, he comes across a makeshift memorial which seems to indicate that a number of people passed away in this very place. It is actually ridiculously scary. Especially this part here. It looks like several people died over here. Did Franco just communicate with one of them? I have no doubt, and hopefully that communication helped them reach the other side. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.